Yes. Hurricane Florence has now been downgraded to a Category 1, but massive flooding has begun to take over the Carolina coast. In North Carolina, they're reporting about 400,000 people without power. Now, Nebraska Task Force 1 and the National Guard are both standing by ready to help as the hurricane is set to make landfall, actually making landfall as we speak. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Campbell is tracking the latest on the storm's path. She's also tracking what first responders are bracing for. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Nicole and Owen. Both teams say they can't begin their rescue missions until those landfall conditions have died down. And we also spoke to a Nebraska native living along the coast of North Carolina who is bracing for impact right now. Hurricane Florence is expected to make official landfall on the Carolina coast today. The Nebraska Army National Guard has sent two helicopters and 13 soldiers to join Nebraska Task Force 1 in their relief efforts. Right now, they're hunkered down in Fayetteville, North Carolina, waiting out the initial hit of the storm before beginning their duties. We have specific rules of engagement that we need to follow before we can go out and go to work. Nebraska Task Force 1 will be doing boat rescues and evacuations once they are given the go-ahead. They're no stranger to hurricane relief, aiding after Hurricanes Harvey and Irma last year. And luckily, the demographic is something they're also used to. Obviously, safety is one of our highest concerns. They have a, a lot of different poisonous snakes down here. They have fire ants. We encountered some of these last year when we were in Hurricane Harvey, so it's not totally unfamiliar to us. As for local residents in the Carolinas, there aren't many of them left. It's just ghost town. There's, everything's closed up. Mitch Henry is a Nebraska native who lives along the coast near Wilmington, North Carolina, where Florence is expected to make landfall. He and his family have chosen to ride out the storm, despite evacuation warnings. So uh, we've got a you know, generator, plenty of gas, plenty of food, uh, ice, um, got all the cars gassed up, got the bathtubs actually filled with water, just so I have fresh water, just in case. They are prepared to evacuate if need be, but Mitch says leaving isn't his main concern. Getting back to this place after the storm is really bad. As of right now, there are reports of more than 150 people stranded in a town called New Bern, North Carolina, along that coast. And officials are trying to get to them, but as I said before, the conditions are not the best for first responders to get out. So New Bern, the city of New Bern tweeted out for people to move to higher ground, but that they will be rescued. We're seeing similar situations to Brian Wrightsville as well, another coastal city along North Carolina. And people reporting right now, the National Weather Service, 90 mile an hour winds. That is really difficult for the National Guard and for Nebraska Task Force One to even get out, even get out of their shelter to rescue people. Yes, yeah, so you add in those high winds with the amount of rain and then there's 10 foot storm surges coming in from the ocean. It really doesn't make the best conditions for first responders to be able to be safe and go out and rescue these people. So hopefully they can ride it out and they'll be able to be rescued soon. Well, those conditions very dire. Thank you for keeping track of the storm this morning, keeping track of what our first responders are doing. And we hope everyone out there along the coast is staying safe during Hurricane Florence.